Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to XPS Tech. I'm Vineet and today's video is regarding two important terms related to Linux releases which is often misunderstood by many users. I'm talking about two popular release models, fixed release and rolling release. So in today's video, we'll check out these two release models in detail, find out their advantages and disadvantages and in the end, I'll also answer some common misconception about these two releases. Alright, so let's begin today's video. Alright, so before we go into understanding these terms, first let me quickly give you a broad overview of how Linux distribution is actually made. Now any Linux distribution is actually a collection of software packages which include your Linux kernel, system softwares like shell utilities, X or X server for your display, desktop environments and other application programs like Firefox, web browser, LibreOffice Suite, etc. Now all these packages are put together then after thorough testing and after ensuring that all these programs work well together, a new Linux version is released. Now this was a very broad explanation of how Linux distributions are made. Now there are two main release models and a Linux distribution may follow any one of these release models to release its latest version. First is the fixed or standard release model. Now this is probably the most common release model which is followed by majority of Linux distribution out there. In fixed release model, a new version of the operating system is released after a fixed period of time like six months or one year. Any particular release is a collection of latest software packages at the time of developing that release. For example, Debian operating system which follows a fixed release model and releases a new version of its OS after every two years freezes its testing repo six to eight months before a new release is scheduled and no new packages are allowed to be added once the repo is frozen. Now all the packages in the frozen testing repo are then thoroughly tested and in case of any issue or bugs required changes are made and finally they are moved to the stable repo and a new version of Debian is released. Now major Linux distribution that follows fixed release models are Debian, Ubuntu, Fedora and many many others. As I said it is a very common release model followed by majority of Linux distribution. Now let's check out some of the pros and cons of fixed release model. Now first the pros, it offers more stability and secondly all the packages are thoroughly tested and verified that they work well together. Now some of the cons are first packages are little old. You have to wait for a new release to get latest updated packages and every new release have a new installation image that you have to download. Thirdly, the entire OS needs to be reinstalled or upgraded to get the latest version of the OS. Alright, so the second release model is the rolling release model. It has been there for many years, it's not something very new. But off late there has been a rise in its popularity and adoption among users. Now in this model, the operating system is constantly being updated, typically by small and frequent updates. So your operating system is always up to date with all the latest packages. Now there is no release schedule for its new version, rather your operating system is constantly getting updates. Now there is only one installation image file for the operating system but after a while a snapshot version of the operating system may be distributed with all the latest version of packages. Now there is only one code branch of a rolling distro. Some popular examples of rolling distros are Arc Linux, OpenSUSE Tumbleweed and Google's Chrome OS. Now let's check out some of the pros and cons of rolling release model. Now the biggest advantage of a rolling release model is that you're working on a bleeding edge distro with all the latest software packages. Secondly, you do not have to download an installation image and reinstall the entire operating system to get the latest softwares. Now the cons of rolling release model is for a beginner or for a novice user, the operating system can be little less stable. Now the reason why I'm saying this is because in rolling release model, the softwares are not updated automatically. In fact, user is given the option to choose which software package he wants to update. So user is responsible for the stability of the operating system. Alright, so let me quickly show you what this means. Here I am on the Arc Linux package search page. Now, as you can see, there are many software packages that were updated just today. That is 28th of November. Now, let's 
quickly find out one of the programs so as you can see for nano package the version number 2.4.3-1 is available for arc linux user which was updated just today now if we go to ubuntu package search page and check out the version available for ubuntu users let me type in nano and let's give any distribution the current distribution is willy let's give any and click on search as you can see for the current version the package available for ubuntu users is 2.4.2-1 so you can see the difference arc linux user are using the latest version of a particular software now some of the common misconceptions or doubt related to rolling release model are first i can upgrade my os to a new release without wiping out the system or reinstalling the entire os therefore i am using a rolling release distro well upgrade option is available in many linux distro and though you do not have to wipe out everything but still you need to upgrade to get the latest technology every time there is a new release in rolling release model there is no upgrade option as it is constantly being updated next if i install the testing branch of a linux distribution it is same as a rolling release distro now although testing branch based distro may receive frequent updates for its packages but it is still not a stable distro it is not recommended for a normal user and recommended only for developers unlike a rolling release distro which actually is a stable distro used in big enterprise environment next i also receive update from ubuntu software center how is it different from a rolling release distro well the updates that you receive from synaptic or ubuntu software center are from the backports repo first of all the updates are only for the packages and not the entire system the process is also slower than the updates that you get in a rolling release distro and secondly as per the debian backport page backport packages involve risk of incompatibility it also gives you caution of using it with care all right so that was all for today thank you guys for watching this video if you like this video kindly press the like button if you have any comment or suggestion please type that in the comment box thank you guys for watching this and i'll see you next time